It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the thunder from down under, a man on a quest to make money for beer. Sparring DK presents... Relegation, Regen, Rebuild... Manchester United... Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild here with Manchester United. We now sit in fifth position in a striking spot to try and claim a Champions League position for next season. We're obviously uh, speeding things up here with some more simulations. We're only playing teams that are above us on the table. Now, on the run home, uh, we are in February now. There's only three teams above us that we possibly could be taking on. Now, that is Spurs, Chelsea and Liverpool. Uh, if we get above Spurs, we don't need to play them. Liverpool is in the final game of the uh, the season, I think. Uh, and Chelsea is somewhere in March. So uh, it'll depend on results, but we should be up and about, hopefully qualifying for the Champions League, and then we can uh, address what we're doing for the next season. So let's get into this one. A couple of player upgrades, get simulating, bring some of that youth talent in. Uh, I'm not sure how much more youth talent we can really bring in this, so we may just focus on regens now. Um, it's more about bolstering up this team and getting them ready for a European campaign by the looks of things. So let's jump into it with those player upgrades. Right, first player upgrade is in for Kjartansson. It's from Michael Lemming. Thank you very much for your comment. Five thumbs up for the number 13. Some long sleeves with a tight fit kit. Medium socks, some Nike gloves, orange Nike boots, and some white ankle tape. He's good to go. And I just... I don't know. I thought he would have taken over Flynn by now. Maybe he will in the, the next season. We'll have to see how his, uh, you know, growth goes. But, um, yeah, good luck. Right, and possibly the final upgrade here is from Roman Hunter. It is for Mikkelbus, the, uh, the centre-back. He just went with a tight-fit kit with some red and black boots and the number 35. Sorted. Now, uh, if I do bring in any regens with the speed of everything that's going on, I probably will just upgrade them myself, uh, as well as youth players that could possibly fit into the first team. Uh, we'll see how we go. I don't think we really need to be sending out uh, youth scouts too much more. They're just not going to come in and serve any purpose for this one. We, we need to get, you know, strong regen players into this squad now if we're going to bring in any acquisitions and uh, look at our European campaign, hopefully. Fingers crossed everything goes right here for Manchester United on the run home. Let's get into this simulation. Right, the Youth Academy reports came back. Nothing from the three countries that we're looking at. We're only really looking at top talent, that's for sure. But uh, the current Academy, Tom Watkins, 87-93. to 93, Karimi, 90-94. to 94, Bogerson, 74-92. Perez, 80-94. to 94, Knudsen, 87-93. to 93, uh, Juan Luna, 85-94. Hola, 89 to 94. Henrik Vorna, 83 to 89, has dropped away, unfortunately. And I'm going to release him. And uh, Viljami Katola, 88 to 94. Away against Southampton. And it, wow, okay, a 1 0 loss. That's not a good start. Away against Aston Villa, it's a 4 1 victory. Freddie Kenzo with a hat trick. At home to West Brom, it's a 2 0 victory. Lane injured. Lazon with two goals. Away to Crystal Palace. Oh, 2 1 loss. Not what we needed this late in the season. Big home game here against Leicester. Nieto Sanchez into the first team. A 1-1 one -one draw as uh, Freddie Kenzo did have a red card suspension. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to get into some gameplay for you. We're taking on Chelsea, who currently sit top of the table. So a real, real big, you know, just a challenge to see where we are sitting within the Premier League. I think we're about sixth or fifth. Maybe even fourth. Uh, I haven't actually looked at the table uh, other than knowing the big teams above us. So uh, we will take on Chelsea here today. Nieto Sanchez is now into the starting lineup. He's uh, surpassed Flanagan in rating. And uh, we go with Joe Graham on the left hand side, the Canadian. He's asked for a transfer request. So let's see if some game time can, you know, pull him around to maybe sticking it out here. Let's get into this game. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A big game here at Old Trafford, hosting the league leaders, Chelsea, and a real challenge here for Manchester United to see where we're, you know, up against the big teams. Let's get into it. Loves a driving run through the midfield, and no one really coming at him except for Dion. Navarrete pushes his way into the box, cuts back beautifully. Super Mario! Good save, Paul Lopez. Oh, lovely from Copa. That is charging forward. Here is Lazon. He's got Junior to deal with and then gets the run. Lane plays one through, has never read a in on goal. And it is Super Mario getting us the lead here at Old Trafford against Chelsea. 1-0 to the Red Devils. And uh, that was some very good play. Never read a set it up with a 1-2 there from Lazon. And Lane just played it through, in fact. 
It is number eight, eight with the finish. 1 0 to Manchester United. From Sacco. Number red eight. Lazon. Lane has dropped deep. Murray. Lane. Navarrete. Sacco. Back for Navarrete. Off to Murray. Chelsea just looking to set themselves up with a bit of space, but Navarrete tries to push his way forward into the box and shoots. Paul Lopez called into action again. Pushes his way forward. Freddy Kenzo drives into the box. Freddy. Oh, <laughs> trying to play for the pen. Oh, Murray did get the touch. And Cooper does get a touch. Here, oh, Nieto Sanchez takes it to the face. Chelsea pressing here. Lane. Freddy Kenzo. Pushes forward. Freddy Kenzo takes the strike. Works Paul Lopez. Get in there, Lane. And Frankie Dion doing some work on Navarrete. And he'll get the ball back here again. Copa does well. Feeds it off. Lazon flicks on quickly. Kenzo. Well, you've got to think about it, boys. This close to half time. Good from Sacco. Tries a clearance. That doesn't pay off. Junior comes through. De Jong's been very good. Play it in here. Nieto Sanchez does well. Copa will clear. Three minutes of injury time. Graham pushes forward. And, well, I'm not sure where that pass was going, Joe. You're going to have to lift your game if you want to play European football with this club. Oh, lovely from Carr. And there is halftime. 1-0 to Manchester United. Pulisic does space and pace and time. Nieto Sanchez is injured, gets another block in, and Flint does well. Cooper got the clearance, back Yoko plays it inside, here's Dion, played off, Kovacic, great work from Flint. Lead forward, Zon gets that one out, Navarrete, can he get a charge on? I still can't believe that did go in. He's having a red hot crack, Navarrete goes around the outside, and might well, just get outrun here by Junior, running out of legs. Right, 1-0 up. There's an injury to Nieto Sanchez, so uh, he will check out for Flanagan. McDonald and Jurgensen also check in. Navarrete goes up top. Oh, great save from Flair. Huge save. The scoreboard's gone. The scoreboard is gone. The scoreboard is back. Kovacic has pushed forward here. Jurgensen couldn't go with him. He played it back to... Uh, Carr gets in the way there. Just uh, have to dig in and defend here, boys. Murray. Navarrete. Freddy Kenzo. Lays off. Jurgensen. Has Navarrete. Try for range. James gets in the way. Can we hold on? It'll be a big victory here. A big scalp for Manchester United. He'll look inside. No, we won't. He'll look for Murray. Lays it off. Navarrete. Opens it up. No. Oh, dropped. Oh, he's down. That's why that injury isn't serious. Has Chelsea pushed forward? Has Murray got enough? He's trying hard. Chelsea push. Here comes the ball inside. Flanagan, good clearance. And Lazon will take this away. And there is a massive victory. A big scalp for Manchester United. Well, eight shots to seven, a tough encounter. Never at eight, eight point four, but three points. Right, Nieto Sanchez has broken his toe. He's missing for two months. Ouch. Right, Arna Knudsen wants out of the youth academy. And the centre back from the Faroe Islands, six foot eight, 87 to 93 potential. Welcome. Orlando Perez wants out of our youth academy. And the left winger here, 85 to 94 potential. Welcome to the first team. Linus Holler wants out of the youth academy. A central defensive midfielder, six foot four from Germany. Welcome. At home to Newcastle, it's a 3 2 victory, but Lazon has also picked up a knock. And it is a broken tailbone for Avi Lazon. He's out for four months. That season over. Right, we are currently above Arsenal on the table. We've got them away from home. It's a 1 0 victory. Perfect. It's home game against Watford for a 3 1 victory. Now we're away here to Huddersfield Town. And it's a 4 1 victory, but Flanagan has been red carded. Home game against Wolves. Mikkelbus checks in and it's a 2-0 victory. Right, this is a massive game against Spurs. And yes, it's a 2-1 victory. Navarrete does the job and that might have secured us fourth spot for the season. 
who knows where we're going to finish. Right, so we've got one game remaining in the season. It is against Liverpool. They are above us on the table. Nothing's really going to change for us. It looks like we have finished in fourth position. But we will take on Liverpool and uh, see if we can just shake things up in the title race. Man City currently up by one point. Uh, they are taking on Watford, who sit in eighth position. Uh, Spurs can't catch us, and Chelsea are playing Huddersfield. So if we do beat Liverpool, there is a chance that Man City or Chelsea could take the title. Uh, no, Chelsea won't do it on goal difference. So uh, if we beat Liverpool, Man City are champions. Let's get into this game. Right, so the final game of the season, it is here at Old Trafford. Uh, the team is up and about, and uh, we will be playing Champions League football next season. So let's get into this game and see if we can finish with a win. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the final game of the season against Liverpool. Can we make sure that they don't take the title? It takes everyone on. Joe Graham, the Canadian, down the wing, but Modric, well, he'd be aging. Oh, Flynn, big save. Kjansen knocking on the door now, uh, getting right up there and rating. I think Mane might even be the top goal scorer in the league at the moment. He has absolutely laced that one. And a good save from Flynn. Plays one forward, Joe Graham makes the run. Pushes his way forward here, Joe. Lane out in front of his man. Go in. No, what? Lane, why are you trying to slide tackle, mate? Not Liverpool coming. We've got themselves a corner. A title possibility here for them. Flint with the punch away. Lane can't really do anything with that one, but then does manage to get forward. Graham. Freddie Kenzo. Needs some runners. Gets one in Sacco, probably not the man you do want running, but comes through nicely, Sacco. He'll play it forward. Here is Lane. Into the box. Lane! Oh, Allison. Murray. He'll play this one through for Freddie Kenzo. In on goal, Freddie Kenzo needs to finish and he does. 1-0 Manchester United. And Freddie votes home. Gets in, lads. Good counter-attack football. Just showing that we're just about ready to compete with the big boys. Going into a European campaign next season. We need this team up and about. Freddie Kenzo will be a big part of that campaign. 1-0. It's a good ball forward here at Liverpool. Firmino, Flanagan gets in the way. Sacco clears. Donald having to play here on the right-hand side. Can Freddie Kenzo push on past Robertson? No. And just drives his way forward here. Lane gets the overlapping run. Can't try to push his way through Gomez, but yeah, he's out of juice. Counter attack again. Ryan McDonald racing his way forward. He's got Joe Graham. He's got Lane. He plays it across. Lane! Oh, I needed some more purchase. Just tries to push his way through. He does well for any can. So can he get a finish? Oh, sidebar. Unlucky. Well, there was half time. It's 1 0 to Manchester United. He's taking his man on there, Brian. He'll whip it forward. Lane! Oh, come on, Lane. Oh, come on. Mark him off, Sacco. Can't have that shit playing European football, mate. Right back and left back are probably something that we've sort of struggled with so far through this career mode. There hasn't been any decent regents coming through, and the Youth Academy players. Haven't quite lived up to you expectations. Car's been serviceable, Sacco as well, but I mean, oh, that's Cooper. Of course it's fucking Cooper. Yeah, all right. We need some reinforcements. Cooper can probably play in the twos, maybe. There's Navarrete. Drives his way forward. Navarrete! Oh, good save. Navarrete, good ball forward. Ready, Kenzo. We need some assistance. Gets it now, Navarrete. Pushes his way forward with a bit of trickery, but can't get through. Mason Holgate. Oh, Freddie just dropped his shoulder. And he drives his way forward. Freddie Kenzo. Oh, who's that to? Late forward. No one really wanted it. Out on their feet, these boys. No substitutions. They're just trying to hold on here for a draw. Good from Carr. Don't take possession, though. Oh, <laughs> disgusting. Mo Salah with an absolute fucking demon. 
And the Liverpool might have just won themselves the title with that strike. Oh, we're just a little bit off the pace. Mo Salah just turned Navarrete, found the space and bang, picked that one out, Flint. 2-1 and a wonderful strike from Mo Salah. And there is the whistle. Nine shots to seven. We're in the game. Not many tackles. Kenzo gets an 8.2. And that finishes off our season. Right, youth player wants out. It was Yami Katola. 16-year-old left midfielder from Finland. 65 overall, 88 to 94 potential. All right, so this is all we've got left in the Youth Academy. I don't think we've got any space for them just yet, but obviously with some sales. I mean, Juan Luna, another cracking goalkeeper coming through. Already 68 rated, 93 to 94 potential. Interesting stuff. And uh, the other lads, you know, oh, show up Karimi could be an option if we, if we juiced him up depending on what happens in the transfer market for next season. Right, so, end of the season. Let's have a look at this squad. 52 players, a lot of players out on loan, a lot of players that need to be sold off and moved over, but hopefully there's enough regens floating around for us next season. We've got an absolute war chest of cash. Now, uh, the interesting one is the goalkeeping positions. Now, Billy Flynn, 89 up to, currently the captain, uh, is the first string goalkeeper. Uh, the big one there is a 63 reactions because uh, Dahl out on loan's gone up five at Southampton. Kjartansson is up to an 89 as well. Now, uh, he's got 77 reactions, so probably the better goalkeeper in the end. Um, so he may take the number one role. Flynn can play in the twos, and we'll just sort of rotate them through and see who comes out on top. Paul Carr up 5 to an 82 with a bit of training. Sugera, 67 up 4. We didn't really touch him too much. I was trying to get a loan spell for him, but uh, that didn't eventuate. We'll see how uh, he pulls up next season. NASA's contract is expiring. I'm going to let that one run out and then put some training into Segura. Uh, Cooper, 85 up one. I mean, he's had some howlers. He's absolutely had some howlers. But I think for any of the simulating that we will need to do, he can play a big part there, maybe in the twos, along with Flanagan, 82 up two. Unless there's some decent centre-backs floating around, then maybe we can look at swapping them out. McGeechee out on loan, up one to a 74. Mikkelbass with some heavy training, up 18 to an 82. Um, so can definitely play a part in this one, uh, you'd feel. Uh, Lonvik up two, out on loan. Knudsen, he's an exciting prospect, 61 up one. Big unit, isn't he? Six foot eight, okay. Billy Dixon, 66 up one. Nieto Sanchez with some training, 84 up 10. Uh, Sacco's up two to a 79. Currently the starting right back, but we probably need another option. Um, he, he's okay, but uh, not the most well-rounded player and is a little bit susceptible. Yaz Khalif, his contract is expiring. I'm going to let that one run out. Awusu out on loan, up four to a 69. Mancini up two out on loan to a 64. Uh, Busy Mana up four to a 74. So some of these, you know, mid 70 rated players will come back and play a part next season. Uh, Jeremy Thomas, 66 up two on loan. Molina's up one to a 67 on loan. Willis up two to a 61 on loan. Uh, Holder we've just brought in, potential to be special. So uh, either needs some juice or a loan spell. McDonald, 82 up three. Latoa, he is going out on loan when the, uh, the window opens, 63 up three. Katola, 65, just joined us, has potential to be special for now. Uh, Viljanen, we put a bit of training in, 274 up eight. Campbell's up three to a 76. Murray up seven to an 83, and uh, probably about stopping his growth there, unfortunately. Uh, Danielson going to Swansea City, 66 up two. I think that's a loan spell. Jurgensen, he submitted a transfer request, not getting enough game time, but 78 up three. I'm pretty sure his contract is up as well, so uh, I'm going to let Max move on. Uh, Ornison out on loan, 71 up three. Navarrete, oh, he's hit a fucking 93. Don't put any training into him. He's just growing like a beast. I mean, come on. Jesus. Maybe just need to work on his defensive stats a little bit so we can play a bit more in the midfield. Jumping and strength are a little bit low, but everything else is absolutely ridiculous. Quality player. Uh, John Sounder, 67 up three on loan. Perez, we've just brought in as well, 63 up one. Nilo, I uh, absolutely smashed him training in because I felt that uh, Campbell or... or, or um, not Campbell... Uh, McDonald or Graham may move. So uh, 80 up 15 there for San Pinalo. Uh, Lawrence 67 up three. Masil 69 up two. Uh, so Graham has been approached by PSG. Uh, 82 up five. We'll see what happens there because he wasn't getting any game time. He was 
he, he submitted the transfer request, so we'll see what happens there. Elves up three to a 70. Sokolo up five to a 71. That's huge growth. Uh, Lazon still injured another four weeks, so he should be back at the start of next season. 86 up six. Laguerra up four to a 71 on loan. Mermich up two to a 69. Bartlett still got Oli Bartlett. 74 up two on loan. Uh, Belgama Bayev, uh, 66 up three. May need to move on. Oma Bayo from Chad, 61 up three. is going out on loan. Lebeau, not happy with his play time. I'll see what other strikers are floating around. I did put a bit of training into him. 80 up nine. We've got Lucas Vandenberg to come back from Leicester, 74 up three. Lane's up seven to an 82. Kenzo up two to an 83. We've got John Malale, 69 up four on loan. So uh, a big squad. There will be rotations. We will be getting in some regions. We need to build a massive squad uh, to take on a European campaign next season. So uh, expect some changes. Expect some changes. Right, top scorers for the season. Navarrete had 24. Kenzo finished with 18. And uh, Lane was nowhere. If we look at assists, Murray had nine. Uh, Navarrete with seven. And uh, in the clean sheets department, Flynn had 15. Edison gets 16. And that's probably, you know, a little bit that's left us down. But Kjartansson might come in and really shake things up. Right, so uh, Leeds, Crystal Palace, Huddersfield relegated from the Premier League. We managed to finish in fourth position on 77 points. Liverpool do take the league with that uh, win against us. And we are up for a big challenge going into next season. That will be Champions League football for Manchester United. Now, uh, I may go ahead and simulate a few of the easier teams as we push through uh, the Premier League. Maybe we'll put it in place that we have to play teams above us in the Premier League as well as play all the Champions League games. Hopefully, we'll see how we're going for time, but I think we'll start off the next season in that format. Um, any team above us, we have to play, and we'll play all of the European games. So uh, look forward to that. We'll see you in the next episode. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here. And if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the video...